everybody, it's Jondra again. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my uh, Trobies collection. Um, featuring my entire Trobies collection. Um, this is what we have for part one. I will link it somewhere here. So <laughs> and I'm going to get ready for part two. So I'm just going to scooch all of this upward right here. Get my rings out of the way. Mm. Here we are, have a clean slate, and there we go. Okay, so as I was saying in part one, I like to feature my entire Pandora collection, like my entire charm collection, my entire ring collection, etc, etc. And for the month of May, um, it's time to feature my entire Trobis collection. So part one has already been done, this is part two kind of just going random order and you know no particular order just grabbing whatever is in my box and pulling it out and showing you guys so part of the what is it um blah 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 Trobies collection is the fantasy necklace now I did a whole tutorial on how to wear this necklace I will link that um somewhere here here or down below <laughs> um it's a really versatile piece of jewelry. There's so many ways you can do it. I'm actually thinking of doing a part two. Um, part one was based on, uh, what is it? Based on Pinterest tutorials on like how to wear Trobie's fancy necklace. But someone pointed out to me in the comments underneath the video that someone else had done this. I think, guess it was a Trobie's shop or store. And it was on YouTube, so I checked it out. And apparently they did a part two, so my part two is going to be based on their video, but that's in the future, so just letting you know. <laughs> um, I forget which length this is. I think this is either the longest or second to longest, which is pretty, pretty long, pretty considerable. But there's that, and the parts that go with this are the pendants, which one of them is this one. And then I have this one, which is called the Queen of Whoops, Queen of Hearts, which is kind of like a little chess piece. I always wondered why it's not called Queen of Hearts, plural. It's just called Queen of Heart, just the one heart. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but that's that. <coughs> I am a little bit sick. A little bit under the weather. <coughs> I'm not full blown sick, but. I haven't been feeling good the last couple days, and today is probably the first day I feel kind of okay. So I feel like, you know what? I'm gonna film the giant lotus pendant. Now, I guess you're wondering real fast how these work. Let me just illustrate very quickly because this is not meant to be a tutorial. Like I said, I already made. Wait, how's it go? I made a video, so again, it'll be linked. And then you would be able to put some Murano's on top and it would look really, really cute. See how it's kind of balanced on top? But again, that's for a, that's another video. <laughs> trying to think, is that all the fantasy pendants I have? I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think so. And now I'm going to move on to another bracelet. Which is my white bracelet. And I always like to say I never really cared for white. Um, and I think what got me started on this bracelet was this bead, which is the Milky Quartz bead. Again, I'm not a huge fan of it. And I think it's getting a little washed out. But see right there how it's faceted? That makes all the difference to me. If it was just plain uh, smooth, and I, I apologize for you guys who like the smooth, um, it's my personal taste. I don't like it. To me, it looks like plastic. Whereas the facets just give it that sparkle and that extra. You know what I mean? So I caught it. Is, I think it caught my eye when I was in the store. So I bought it. I think it must have been re um, discounted though. So then. Me thinking, well, what am I going to do with one white bead? I thought, well, I'll just make a whole white bracelet. <laughs> so, 
enter the diamond bead and the other ones that are on this bracelet. By the way, this one goes in dark. It's the blizzard bead. Yes, blizzard bead, I think so. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know. And that's last, that's last, last one, famous last words, right? <laughs> that's all she wrote. <laughs> so as I was saying in my last video, when it comes to troll beads, I kind of base my themes, my bracelet themes on color, not necessarily like hearts or stars or whatever. It's mostly just, you know, oh man, I think this charm is on backwards or upside down. It is. <laughs> I got to fix that. Um, it's based on colors. And then I also like to make patterns out of my bracelets. So for example, you'll see the center one, which is this one. And you'll see two, or you know, one in Murano here, one in Murano there, and then you'll see two silver, two silver, and then a Murano, then three silver, and three silver, and then a Murano, and etc. etc. For this one that I showcased in the last video, it's every other one has a glass bead. <clears throat> For this one, it's supposed to be every three beads and a silver, but I don't have enough here, so it's silver, three, silver, three, silver, three, etc. etc. So, yes, I like to have like little patterns. This one I think is also three. Three, silver, three, silver, three, yep. So that's how I like to arrange my Troll Beach bracelets versus Pandora. I think it's more symmetrical, more balanced. Um, Troll Beach is a lot more simple. And I think it's probably why I like it so much. Apologies for, the, you know what, I can't get over it. I have to fix it, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is called a chat bead, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. The older emoji, emo, is it emoticons? Emojis, emoticons, it was emoticons, right? Yeah. Back before emojis were around. Oh, I can't put this back on. <laughs> oh, man. Nails always get in the way. There we are. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this more up close. saying before too this is not meant to be a troll beads how to or anything like that gosh why do I feel like all my beads are backwards I don't know why like this should be facing the other way I don't know why I guess I must have been playing with them so yeah this isn't meant to be troll beads how to or anything like that uh, it's just me showcasing showcasing Mm, the beads that I have, existing beads. Let's see, how does that go now? So this one, yeah. But like, since I already have this, the way the troll beads work real fast is one side has a thicker, like jump ring, I guess. Yeah, jump ring with the foxtail bracelet, and then on the other side is a much thinner, I guess. I don't want the shirt. This is called Link. And you then put your bead through it. And now that I'm fixing my bracelet because it bothers me. Did I even put my timer on? Oh, I forgot my timer, you guys. Dang it. I thought I had it on. Oh, well. All right, well, now we're starting. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, so you just kind of link everything through. And then you finish by attaching the lock, which has that tiny little thing right here, and you just slip that on. And now the bracelet is secure, will not fall off at all. But anyways, okay, this is a work in progress. Uh, I was going to sell both the morning delights, morning drops, morning something. No, delight. Something, uh, something delights, I forget. Mm. 
and the angel. I was going to sell them because this is actually a pendant, but it looks kind of weird, like on a necklace. It looks like I'm just have a lady hanging on my neck. So I was going to sell it. Same thing with this one. I didn't really like the way it sat on it as a pendant. But then I put them on a bracelet and I was like, ooh, I like the way that looks. So I, I kept them. <laughs> and again, I'm just waiting to buy more pink, more of this shade of pink to fully, you know, um, fill this bracelet. So yeah, it's a work in progress. It's not quite done yet. But in the meantime, I decided to wear her. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom in for some close-ups. And by the way, this is quartz, pink rose quartz. Yes, I believe it's rose quartz. So it's pretty expensive too. I really got I got it for a really good deal. I think it's worth one hundred and ten dollars retail. I think I got mine for thirty. So deal. <laughs> All right, moving along to my Mexico bracelet. Um, in my last video, I talked about how I don't tend to like mixing brands. Um, with my Pac-Man bracelet, I mixed troll beads and um, Pandora uh, charms to make up my Pac-Man bracelet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to look at video, or part one of this video series. <laughs> um... And for this one, I kind of made this an exception, but not necessarily with Pandora charms. More like just sterling silver. Um, what is it? Sterling silver uh, European style charms that fit European style bracelets, but they're not really branded. Um, the Sugar Skull before this, I got this before. Trobeats made its own sugar skull, and I don't remember the name of the brand. It's, it's Italian. Maybe it says so on the Hallmark. No. Nope. I, I'm totally blanking out. I don't remember. I know I posted it a long time ago on my Instagram when I first got the charm. If you guys can do a search, like, if you're willing to search through my feed, go for it and find it. I can't remember the name at all. I'm just completely blanking out. I think I got it on either eBay or Amazon though. But going through it, it's my Mexico themed bracelet. Um, I think it's fun bracelet to have. It's pretty much anything to do with Mexico. Um, most likely inspired by the Mexico lock. So I got the Mexico lock here. I'm not sure why it's called Mexico lock, but it's what it's called. <laughs> it's like crow glass. So I thought, you know what? Why not make a Mexico themed bracelet to go with the lock? So I have unbranded, I think eBay, Amazon, eBay, Eagle, Troll Beads. This is Novo Beads, I believe they're called. Little sombreros, I think it's adorable. Um, that's Troll Beads, Troll Beads, Troll Beads, Troll Beads, Troll Beads. All this is Troll Beads, except for this one I got on Amazon. Like a little pyramid. It was like Incan, not Incan, because Incan is not Mexican. Aztec, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, those ancient pyramids. I don't know what they're called, but they're called pyramids. It's not Egyptian. I know that. <laughs> South American. I don't know. Cent not Central American or South American. Latin American. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Latin American. But again, going to zoom in to get the close-ups and I hope you guys enjoy. Again, this is the one, I, the second exception I made with <coughs> putting non-troll beads charms on this bracelet to represent uh, Mexico um, I think it's cute oh what am I missing Let's talk about that this is a work in progress so center this is a focal point right here three then this and three beads then the red oh, okay so I'm missing two, two three three more beads uh, I'm missing one more bead here 
and two more beads here to make it three. And I forget what charms I have. I think I'm looking for the Dahlia, which is Mexico's national flag. I have to look that up. <laughs> and then I forget what other ones I had. I think they're on my eBay wish list. They're not troll beads anymore. They're, on, like I said, unbranded. I think I'm looking for another, a guitar charm. It's just kind of hard to come by as a modular charm like this with a cord drilled through it. So I'm looking for the Dahlia, a guitar. And I don't remember what else is going to go on this other side. It's on my eBay wish list, but no, oh my gosh, what was it? I don't remember. I had it all planned out. So it was a guitar and the Dahlia. So that'd be the here, that'd be Dahlia and the guitar. And then I'm missing one more. I don't remember. But let's just forget about that for now and uh, zoom in for close ups. In case you guys are wondering too, uh, these are our, our sterling silver. The unbranded um, beads are sterling silver. And I think I forgot to, to say too, the core on the cob is also Novo beads, I believe. I don't know where the hallmark is though. Oh, there it is. Just tiny little N. See that N, I think, for Novo beads? It's a really pretty N. Did that and I think it's an N. Yeah, so we got the corn on the cob and we got the little sombreros. I think they're so cute. I think that's Nova beans. Now I don't remember. Sorry guys, you get to a point where your collection is just so massive that you just I think it's Nova beans. Yeah, I think I see the N. Where you just start losing track, you know, memory isn't what it used to be, honestly. So <laughs> there's that. <coughs> Next, we come to the only pair of earrings that I own. Um, these are hydrangea. I think I'm saying that right. Hello, what are you doing? Where, where are you? Where you go? Hello. <sighs> what was I saying? <laughs> yes, the opals do not come with these earrings. Okay, these were a birthday gift a couple years ago. Um, they were modeled that way in the store, and I really liked the way they looked. So I was like, oh, I, I, I like that look. But if you know anything about Troll Beads earrings, they're like this. And then you buy the hook individually. And then you hook them, and then they, you know, they, they, they dangle. Now, a long time ago, I bought the hooks to go with these earrings, and I did not like the way they looked. Because I wanted them to sit like this on the hook, but they ended up sitting like that. Kind of like, whoops, kind of just droopy. It didn't look like this, it looked like this. So you couldn't really see the earring, I think. Um, so I returned them and I was like, I'll just wear them like this. Which I think is cool because I think you, you know, yeah, you can see the, the opal, the center of the, 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 the flower. And <clears throat> they're just really nice. I like them. So I, I, I wear them solely like this. Why are you with the kisses, huh? Give me kisses. <laughs> I know you guys couldn't see that, but she just came by. <laughs> Ninja. Oh, my baby. So funny. So just put it together. I like uh, Trilby's earrings, but they are a bit expensive. So I focus on the charms, obviously. Um, like I said in my last video, I have a whole bunch of rings on my wish list as well. Oh, but they're going to have to wait. I'm just going to throw in these locks real fast. Uh, I already showed them on my leather. I think they're two sizes, which I did not know that Trilby's had. Yep. So these are like, I think one of the original locks that came. They attached the bracelet that I just showed you on each end. But they apparently made two sizes, which I was not aware of. 
And I have both. I think one of them is more rare than the other. I forget which is which, though. I think this is the original. And it got replaced by this one. So, there's that for part of the collection. Let's talk about my dichroic glass bracelet. Um, with hair on it. Lovely. <laughs> so we have the dichroic flower lock. Now I got most of my stuff on eBay at the beginning of me starting my trolley's collection. Do, don't do that. Um, do not do that. <laughs> I got lucky. I got lucky when I were, was buying these. For the first two years of um, me starting Trobies, I sold them on eBay. Um, because Trobies is, to me, much more expensive than Pandora, and they don't go on sale very often. Um, so I thought I could get smart, right? outsmart, you know, Trobies, I guess, and buy through eBay. But I had a scare where there was a fake bead. It got returned. Um, then I tried again and I bought a bracelet and it did, did not look right so I returned that too. So then I freaked out and I took my entire collection to a jeweler that sold troll beads back in the day before they closed or before they stopped carrying troll beads and um, they checked out my collection and it was all legit. So I got lucky so I would not do that again. Um, no, definitely not. Yeah, so in the future, <laughs> this is before I got like really like, not what am I trying to say? Like really smart. Like now I I, I I make sure and double make sure and triple make sure that the seller will either accept returns or check out their feedback, etc., etc. All right. So this one has a pattern to it. I believe there is a piece with dichroic glass. Where is it? Every two charms or three charms? No. Okay, so it's, every, it's three charms again. One, two, three, and then the glass. One, two, three, and then glass. But then at the end of each side of the bracelet, yeah, I know. I know. It's been like that for two years now. I keep forgetting to say something. <coughs> to either ask Trollbees if they can replace it, or send me like a little glass bead that I can like glue on myself, or look for a replacement. I keep forgetting to do that. <sighs> I'm really bad, I know. <laughs> So anyways, on each side of the ending of the bracelet is a charm with um, dichroic glass in it. So this one has the three flowers. This one has the... I want to call say it Trinity, but it's not. I don't think it's Trinity. It's something else. Trinity is something else. I forget what this one's called. But yeah, I really like the dichroic glass. This one made this a flower. Um, and I like the dichroic, dichroic glass uh, Murano so much that I bought four of them. <laughs> So, again, let's take a quick zoom in and close up so you guys can see the details on this bracelet. Like this bracelet a lot because it was one of my first um, trophy bracelets that I started working on and designing. This is the one that has most of the eBay purchases on it, <laughs> and I really like the way I just organized it and balanced it out. Um, I forgot to mention that yes, there's a, uh, a charm with dichroic glass here, a charm with dichroic glass at the end, but also in the middle is a charm with dichroic glass, and that's the queen and queen, the king and queen. King and Queen, and I just liked how balanced it is. It's very balanced and symmetrical. You know, we have two similar charms on the side of the King and Queen, the Muranos, we have an initial, and then we have a charm, and then we have an initial, but another, another small bead, and another small bead, another Murano, and then we have two very similar charms, the Diamond in the Rough here, and the hearts on this one. They're built the same way. We have a, a long, <clears throat> sideways charm here same thing with this one the three siblings and then we finish off with 
dichroic and dichroic. So it's very, very symmetrical and that always makes me very happy. <laughs> okay, next we come to uh, the necklace. Now, I already showed you guys the fantasy necklace. And this is the one with the chain with the, you know, soldered on pendant. This one is just like the bracelets, but it's much longer. I think this is a size probably 14 or 16. I can't remember. 15 or 16 cent no inches. Yes. But the reason I bought it, and it's kind of tight on me because I'm a bigger girl. <laughs> but the reason I got it uh, the short is because it's kind of thick. So I don't think I want it too long. Yeah. Plus, I figured I could always use these to add inches. Do you see what I'm saying? So if this is a 16 right here. Wait. Okay, I think this is 14 inches by itself. If you were to add a lock, it adds almost an inch. So it's probably 15. Yeah, this is probably 15 inch, and with this one, it's a 16 inch, okay? So I thought, okay, so 16 inch is probably the shortest I would go, but if I add this and this, and then a lock, do you see what I'm saying on that side, and then you add this on the other side, and then you add a lock to connect these two, now you're adding 13 inches. So now instead of a 16, it's 17, 18, 19. You see what I'm saying? Or I could do 18 if I just remove this and use a lock. Because this is behind your neck anyways and your hair is going to hide it. No one's going to see it. So I thought, you know, I could make it a little more versatile. I could always add length, but I can't take off the length. Do you see what I'm saying? So we have, you know, a necklace. And with the necklace, I have the butterfly pendant, which is just beautiful and lovely. Love to wear this. <coughs> I tend to wear this more on a bangle though, but it is made and designed to wear as a pendant. Which I actually have worn this spring so far. So it's very, very beautiful, very lovely. You can add spacers to keep it in place if you want. You can have Murano's on the side. There's so much you can do. That's why I love this type of uh, jewelry because it's so customizable. Uh, get really creative. You can make it your own in so many ways. Um, then I got this, which I was also dying for. Now, I, I, I will have to say, I could, got confused, and I thought that this, the troll anemone pendant, I thought it was specifically made for the fantasy necklace. And I think I came to the realization, whoops, <laughs> that it's actually meant to be worn on the foxtail. If someone out there who is a troll beads expert could tell me or remind me, I can always look on online. I can always look online, so it's not a big deal. But I don't know. I don't remember how I've because I've seen it. I think I've seen it styled with the fantasy necklace. It just looks a little bit awkward. So I think I'm wrong. I don't think it's meant. I mean, you, you totally can wear it on the fantasy. It's not a big deal. You can totally wear it this way if you wanted to. Um, but I think it's been specifically designed for the foxtail necklace and not the fantasy. So it's beautiful sitting how it sits. You can also put a Murano here, which I've have illustrated before in other videos. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to play with it as it is like that. And see how pretty that looks on the neck. <coughs> Sorry guys. I, in my last video, I talked about how I'm a little bit under the weather. So if you hear me congested coughing that's why <laughs> all right so yeah it's meant to sit like that I've also seen this styled on a bangle and let me tell you I just love adore the look of this on a bangle I think it's gorgeous gorgeous and then I love flowers so and not just beautiful and just to go stop her here stop her there and you are spacer stop, spacer yeah and then you have your little, you know, Marno if you want to, you can wear it as is. And it's beautiful. And I got this as a surprise uh, birthday gift in Paris as well. My husband listened to my hints. <laughs> my not so subtle hints, I have to say. 
<laughs> All right, so we're coming down to my timer, which I started late because I forgot to do so. <laughs> um, we're gonna end with my, I think, top two favorite bracelets. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop my timer because I got 10 seconds left on it. All right. Uh, what is this? <laughs> oh, this bracelet contains one of my all-time favorite beads, which is the Aurora bead, but I will get to that in a minute. Well, I might as well show you. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily called the Aurora bead. That's the name that was given to it by collectors. Can we focus, though? Is this focusing? I hope so. Yes. So I got two, because <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> And most people design it the way I have with the troll and Emily here in, in the middle as well. I didn't even realize that this bead had that iridescence in it as well. So when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh, buying it. And then I thought, okay, well now I need another one of these. So I got two. This is actually the bead that came with the bracelet set, which is I think called Stories of You. I think it's called Stories of You. This is such a gorgeous bead and it came in so many different like variations which is why I love Chobi so much some of them are pink some of them are really uh, more purple or lavender um, Marthnix Martha from Marthnix on Instagram Marthnix beads Marthnix beads yeah I don't know if I, I never know if I'm saying that right <laughs> she posted one not too long ago it was so gorgeous it was blue like indigo it was so pretty i didn't even know it I, I mean i thought it was the same bead but i wasn't sure and i had to ask her she goes yeah it's the same one i'm like that's gorgeous it was so pretty but yes yeah, so it it's, doesn't really have a name we call it the aurora bead but in reality it's just part of the stories of you bracelet starter set so and then i'm getting two and then i ended up selling the, the lock because i didn't like it and since i got two i'm, I'm assuming i sold both of them yeah, because I don't see it. I don't think I see it. I usually keep one of them and sell the other one, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I sold Wolf. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through this without dying. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then there's this lock as well. The big flower lock. I feel like... I always say this every time I make the video. Um, I feel like Trollbeat has forgotten that they can make locks like this. They only have this one and the big fish lock. And they only made those two. You know, they're like a d detached. Do you see what I'm saying? Versus the ones that are just one piece. I, I feel like they forget that they could do something more than just this. They could do something like this. They can make more designs or creations using this detached format. You know what I mean? So, and because this is much long, like a longer lock, I am going for a shorter bead. I mean, a shorter bracelet. I'm sorry. So I usually wear a 7.5 of Pandora. Um, if I wear a lot of Muranos on my bracelet, then I go up to a 7.9. Because every single one of my creations with Troll Beads has Muranos in it, I'm automatically 7.9. Mm, that's it. I don't even joke with 7.5. With the exception of this one. <laughs> this one is 7.5 because this is so, so much longer that I need the extra shortness I guess not the extra I need less chain and more lock so in order to keep it 7.9 I go down a size and this is the only exception for this price and only <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can take a closer look at this gorgeousness popped in my mind I was gonna say what that was but now I don't remember what it was oh yeah the pattern of this one is three Muranos two silvers two Muranos two silvers one Murano and then one at the end it's actually and then a beat oh my gosh dog here we go I love you sweetie what are you doing hi <laughs> she wants something <laughs> um these were last minute additions the end caps make sure was supposed to end on the Muranos but I have this pet peeve where 
I feel like I have this much chain left. So I can still stick some stuff on there. So I ended up sticking this one and this extra one that I had because I bought two of them. <laughs> I think... Oh my gosh, where is my memory going to now? I'm pretty sure this silver bead came with the Aurora beads, I think. Yes, okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's 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 go ahead and end this before I go, I go way too long because I'm already past 22 minutes. This is my second favorite bracelet, my star, Starry Night bracelet is what I'd like to call it. Um, it was supposed to be a second beach bracelet, but it turned into more of a star theme because of the shades of Murano's. Um, Yes, uh, I wanted to make it like a like a darker blue ocean theme bracelet, but I was like, you know what? After these came out, the Starry Night, the Wishful, was it Wishful Sky? Wishful Sky. I think it's called Wishful Sky. I decided to go darker blue and make this more into a star theme because we all know I love my stars. <laughs> Plus it came with this beautiful, awesome lock with stars on it and how can you not love that, right? And again, I bought two of them. I love them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get a close-up of this bracelet. And we can finally conclude my video. Beads collection guys I hope you've enjoyed this video like I said before these are usually my favorite videos to make um, showcasing my entire collection usually I get so many suggestions on oh maybe you should do this or do this from you know viewers like yourself so I really appreciate that um, feedback which is why I like to do this um, try to get everything in the frame here but it's kind of hard <laughs> Plus my lighting is kind of weird. It's a windy day here, which I love that. And I love the breeze. It's so pretty outside. And I feel kind of like I'm missing out on life because I'm sick. Um, I am feeling better though. Enough to at least try to film. Probably not my best quality work, but I, pro I apologize. Okay, zoom out even more. Nope, that's it. And just so you guys can see, just gonna see who came to visit me. <laughs> if you guys could only see what happens out of frame, I would just die. <laughs> She just came over and just planted herself here as always. She's my little companion, my little film companion, aren't you, baby girl? Yeah. He's my good girl. You're on my stuff, by the way. Is that you're comfortable for you? Yeah, I don't think it would be, huh? Okay. <laughs> what a good girl. You're my good girl, yeah. <laughs> I should just make more videos starting my, my, my dog. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, out of frame. <laughs> Except for her paw. <laughs> So I hope you guys, you guys have enjoyed uh, watching my videos. Um, I'm always really thankful for you guys and your constant support, constant positive feedback and um, comments. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. I am so close to reaching 2,000 subscribers. I know that's a drop in the bucket, but for me, it's everything. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and I just hope that I can keep on going and keep on going and making more videos with your continued support. So thank you again. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.